Hello everyone, I'm Mimi Melvin from Mimi Set. Today we're going to draw and paint Nutcracker. And I'm going to choose some basic shapes to draw this character. And we can color with Christmas colors. Red, green, black and golden. And I'll show you how to paint golden colors. I have done another version of this. You can check this. This is bigger and simpler. And you can check the you know, variations. This is much simpler than these complex details. So you can choose the way you like and just the colors you like okay so let's start so i'm going to use these materials for today's painting oil and acrylic pad and some acrylic paints so this is one white acrylic paint okay it is from liquitex a black sharpie pencil eraser some brushes palette paper so i'll be using some glitters yeah and then other materials like a cup of water and paper towel all these stuff okay so I have a nutcracker in my home. So we're going to use this as a reference and I'm going to make this into a drummer. So let's start with the measurements. So mark the spacing. So just leave a little gap at the top and bottom. And then you can divide the space into three equal parts. Okay, so just roughly mark it. Yeah, I think three, the, these are three equal parts. You can check with the pencil. Two, three, a little bit change. Yeah, this much, almost three equal parts. So this space is for head, the space is for body, and the space is for leg. Here we have to divide this into two. So this much space for the face, and this for the hat. The first space is for the hat, so we can draw a trapezoid shape or upside down cup shape. Then you can draw a kind of curve like this. Draw lightly, if there is any change you can you know, erase it and do it, okay? Then you have to draw the body with another trapezoid shape cup shape so just extend a little bit on both sides then draw the shape rectangle shape then comes the the lower part of the the coat then two rectangle shape for the legs See, instead of connecting it with this line, I'm going to draw a base with a small rectangle shape. And on top, we have to draw the shoes. So it's like a half circle. We got all the basic shapes. Now we have to draw the arms. So we can draw one rectangle just you know closer to the shoulder, touching the shoulder, okay? So draw a circle again I have to draw the same thing same measurement rectangle shape so he's going to hold the you know the drumstick now we're going to draw the details okay so just add a small rectangle shape here yeah kind of rounded shape okay and extend that line till waist and add another line here then we will draw nose just above it with a small tiny rectangle shape then I can be on both sides of the nose one straight line another straight line and draw a half circle Then eyeballs with circles. One big circle and a tiny circle, like for the pupil. One big circle and a tiny circle. And eyebrow is just above it, the straight line, and add a curve above it. 
okay and then we have to draw the mustache the big mustache so just start with a circle two circles and then you have to add some curve like this like a six see look at that it's a number six on the side and then add one more line so we'll get that in a mustache correctly yeah and then erase the circle in the center then you have to shape you know correct it correct the shapes extend a little bit towards the nose and refine the shape and for the teeth you have to draw one line in the middle then add two make one more on both side and add some curves so it will look like teeth both side okay on the side you can draw the hair you can draw like a zigzag line one like christmas tree two three one two three then draw the details on the hat so we can draw another line here and extend that line outside that old shape and you can decorate the hat any way you like i'm going to draw some mistletoe because it's christmas some cherries and leaves but you can draw anything okay you can add some line and you can decorate with some you know glitter or golden paint or silver paint and then one line here and then make this corners a little bit rounded like nice curved corners here on the shoulder on the waist below it see if you want to make some changes you can do it okay just a rounded shape yeah, this looks better and for this arms at the shoulder you have to make a rounded shape and it should connect with the body okay there should not be any gap and i'm going to add one more line here just like you know same thing and now we can decorate the clothes maybe you can add some zigzag lines or circles or you can you know decorate it after painting with some you know small glittery things anyway i'm going to add some circles so this side you have to draw another line then again same thing circles okay for this part you can add two lines now it's the time to add drums so i'm going to draw a rectangle shape here kind of square and then erase everything inside this shape so we got the drum we just need to decorate it okay maybe you can add one line here one line at the base and then some diagonal lines one direction then other direction and don't forget to add the stick with a big circle so i have completed the drawing now i'm going to take my sharpie and outline the drawing
so let's start painting and I'm going to start with the skin tone so I have a peach color here so it is the flesh tint in this set yeah you can make this color by you know mixing orange and white and take your small brush brush number two or four something then paint the skin tone Wash the brush and then we can take some yellow ochre. Just take yellow ochre or some dark yellow for this area. Now we can take some red color for the clothes. So this is scarlet red. We can take scarlet or vermilion or cadmium. Here both side and arms and this part and this part. Okay. Now I am going to take some green color for the pants. So this is Viridian green. And I am going to use the same green color for the drums. Now we can take some black color, so take a small brush, very tiny brush, this is for the eyeball and moustache. And some black color over here. And black color for the shoes. And same color for the belt. I think we can use the same color for the hat. Now this is white, so these two are white, so I'm going to do a grey outline for that. So take a little bit of black and make a nice light grey color. It's only for the sides. Now we can do some red cherries. Just some red color for the cherries and green color for the leaves.
so i have added one layer for all the colors now um, if you want you can add one more layer and then we will do some highlights okay that's up to you you can decide if you want you can do one more layer so it will give more finishing You can add a little bit of red into the pink color, the peach color, and make a darker peach color, and then do a, you know, little bit red color on the cheek. You can oval shape, just above the mustache. Now I'm going to add highlight for each of the spaces. So first we'll start with this color. So add some white into each color. So this is red plus white, and I'm going to do a highlight here almost in the middle okay like one line so this is the little shine that we can see on the cylinder the hand is like a cylinder right same thing this one line and one line over here so this whole thing is a big cylinder so we will be highlight there some highlight over here and add some green plus white that a highlight here so it's closer to this side okay right side of the cylinder and then make a lighter gray black plus white and add a highlight here so this is a cylinder and the the lower portion is a kind of circle so just add a small circle highlight you need to add a gray highlight on the hat so on the yellow ochre you can take this lemon yellow or light yellow for the highlight instead of white Maybe you can add a little bit of brown, just add a little bit of dark brown or light brown into the yellow ochre. Make this color and add a tiny light darker tone on the side. So it looks like golden color. Brown plus yellow ochre. Everywhere on the golden area. So this is also yellow ochre yellow dot instead of adding highlight i'm going to add a shadow on the side of the face same dark peach so we have to paint the base so you can choose the color you like for the base i'm going with the red color because the whole thing is christmas theme right the highlight with white plus red a little bit of um, highlight on the drums just one line one line okay, and don't forget to do the dark tone on the side of the drums to look nice and you can take your sharpie and outline the whole thing again so let's take the color for the background we can paint the whole thing or you can add more details like you know some presents you know gift boxes or you can add a christmas tree behind i'm taking cerulean blue and if you don't want to do any background you just keep it white and you can touch these you know the messy areas with some white and clean up the back
I have completed my painting. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.